Just wait for people to join. Evening. Hello, Ellie. I think so. Yeah. You all right, darling? Just going to wait to see if there's a few more people want to join. Yeah, I'm okay. Finally getting the hang of the lives. Hi, Emma. Hi, Joanne. Just going to wait and see if anybody else wants to join me. Um, and then, And then we'll start. Just gonna look for a colour that I haven't got out. Bear with me. Okay, so tonight. I'm going to attempt, using the word tent lightly, um, to try and show you how to do some ombre in with gel polish. Hi Lauren, anybody, can anybody do this already? I'm pretty new to it, so sometimes it comes out pucker and then other times I think, ah, oh, not quite right. Okay, so I'll make a start and then anybody can catch up. Is that okay? Right, I'm just going to move that further down and put my little thingy here. Okay, so I'm using the brand that I use, which is Jules. Okay, so these are the older bottles and these are the newer bottles. I love this gel polish. So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to be using these tonight. And I'm also using um, a Brillbird Designer Gel in bronze for one of them too. Okay. Right, so I'm going to start off with a really simple one. Um, right, I'm just going to use a bit of tin foil for my palette tonight because I'm in the, my palettes are in the wash. So, okay, so, no, that's not the one, okay, so I'm using 003 from Jules, and it's a pink, okay, so what we do is, I'm just going to do like a, a slight pink fade from the free edge so you and I'm using a very light pink I should be using all different types of colors so and you just put it on very thinly just like that actually I think I'm just gonna take a little bit off I'm using this brush I'm not overly very good with this brush, but um, 
we'll give it a go and i have done a course where they explain that if you dip it in top coat first so i put a bit of top coat on my tin foil so if you put it in top coat first it apparently works better okay i'm just um so the knack is is to push and pull at the same time right you're never you're not going to get it perfect first time around we're going to be going over it so that's good enough all right i'm just going to give it a quick a quick um cure because there's only a tiny bit there i wipe my brushes on my kitchen towel in between each one hi lindsay um because i prefer and then what i'm going to do if i show you on my on my tin foil i'm going oh wrong one I'm going to put some of my pink on my foil. Can't see well. Okay, so that's ready for a bit in a minute. Okay, I'm just going to do the same again it's at the very end. Can you all see perfectly fine? I've got nobody sitting with me tonight. So, you're working very thinly. You don't want. You don't want chunkies. Okay. So push and pull. Push and pull. That's what we do. Okay. Just flash cure that. Because that's only very thin. So with the bits that we've put on the tin foil. We just add a bit of clear to our pink. Okay, so what we're doing is in, we're creating a slightly thinner version of our pink. Just get a bit more clear. Okay. Remind me not to use tin foil again. I can't see anything. There we go. Okay. So that's what we do. So you've got a slightly thinner version of the pink. Okay, so then you pick that up and put it just overlapping where you the end start end finishes. Okay, and then you get your blending brush and do it again. Push and pull. That's the knack to it. Okay. And you're pulling it down. Okay, just flash cure that. We're only flash curing because it's very thin. And then once I've got my desired effect, I'll give it a proper cure. So obviously we've got our pink mix here. Let me get a bit more top coat. Really shouldn't have used tin foil. Can't see it with the light. I'll have to see if I've got something else I can use. Next one. Okay, and then what you do is you add more top coat to the pink mix that you'd already done so it's pretty translucent okay and then again you do exactly as you did last time go towards the end of where you were but just slightly overlapping otherwise you're going to get lines and you don't want lines okay so it's thinner okay let me just put that in the top coat and again we're pushing and pulling okay so that's pretty that's pretty good i'm just going to cure that for 30 seconds so i've just done that one on top of a tip so say for instance you've got an extension um you could do that on top of like a natural color you don't have to use pink, you can use any colour. But it's a really, so I've done some in pale blue, which looks nice, pale purples. They all, all the same sort of effect. And they look really effective, but very pastel. Ombres are very much in fashion at the moment. Hi, Julia. Okay, let's take that out. 
and I'm going to top coat. See, if you look carefully, you can see just a couple of little lines, but when you put your top coat over the top, it just all disappears and looks like it's really blended in well. As I say, you can do it with any colour. Can you see that? It's very subtle. I'll just cure that and then we'll go on to the next colour. Oh, thanks, Lauren. Do you know what? I really quite like those milk bath nails. They're I didn't think I was going to like them, so I tried it and actually really liked it. But I'm just going to look for another palette. Bear with me. Here we go, I've got one. I can't see them because my light's shining on the tin foil. Is that out of the way? Okay, so that one's cured. And can you see? It's very, very subtle. Um, but it looks really delicate and pretty. Again, you can use any colours. I've just chosen pink for tonight. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do, we're going to do use a neon colour. Let me just... I've got all my bottles out. Hmm. Okay, we could use a neon, I've got a neon orange here. Okay, let me just check the number. 019, and it's Jules. Okay, exactly the same technique. Okay, um, actually neons are, are easier to work with, I find, than opaque colours because they're more translucent, so they blend easier. Okay, get my orange. I'm really into neons at the moment. I do like a colour. I love all the delicates, but I just don't like them on me. Okay, so again, work quite thinly. A bit too much on my brush, just going to take some off. Okay. Put my top coat on my palette. And so with, I'm put, I put it on both sides. Let me show you. I put it on both sides of my brush. And then I dab it onto my tissue just to take the surplus off. So again, see, we push and pull at the same time. Try and keep your brush as horizontal as possible it doesn't look very good first coat but don't panic because it gets better okay I'm just going to flash cure that just wiping the surplus off my brush I find if you wipe the surplus off your brush, it um, you're not you're not transferring too much product and stuff. Okay, do that one again. Okay, dip in my top coat and. We do it again. Can you see? I'm pushing and pulling at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna put that in, wipe my brush. Okay, so I'm gonna do again what I did last time. I'll show you. Bit of orange. And some top coat. And we'll give that a mix.
I think I could do with just a tad more orange. I'm just going to add a bit more orange. So we're, we're creating that translucent version of what we started with. Okay. So you pick it up and you put it on the nail, but overlapping the bit that you did before. Okay. And do the same again. I think I could do with just a little bit there, so I'm just going to add a bit more. My problem is I faff. I'm a real faffer. Try and keep your brush as horizontal as possible. Not always easy. Get carried away. And then we just tap down. Okay. I'm going to put that into flash cure, wipe my brush, and now I'm going to add some more top coat to make it even more translucent. So if you're doing a whole set, you do all the nails on the same bit, and then you do the second bit on all of them, so you're not wasting product and stuff, you know, so you don't just do one whole nail at a time, you can do them all consecutively. Okay, so that's even more transparent. So again, I put it on. Over, making sure I'm overlapping. Okay. And then... So these ones I'm showing you at the moment are one sort of like a natural colour nail bed. Okay. This is where the faffing comes in. Okay, I'm going to cure that. I think I'll just do one more little bit of transparent. As I say, faff. I faff a lot. And remember, um, if you get very fine little streaky marks, nine times out of ten, it disappears when you put the top coat on. Okay. Just put a, just a tad more bit of translucent just over here, remembering to overlap. Sorry if I sound repetitive, but I say it just to remind myself really. Okay. So it's like a push and pull scenario. So you're not just dragging it, you sort of push it and pull it. And it, it creates the blend better. Okay. Okay, cure that fully. Obviously, I do mine for 30 seconds. It, it also depends on what polishes you're using and what lamps you're using. So obviously, adjust the times according to your own products. So I'm just cleaning my brush and my tissue. Then I'll just wipe off my palette. I don't know if I've told anybody before, I use cut-up wax strips. Absolutely amazing. No flinty bits, no fluffy bits, no nothing. Okay, i just add my top coat. You see, 
So once I've added the top coat, you can see the blend a bit better. Okay, can we all see? Okay, just going to cure that. And put that one away. Has anybody else tried this this effect? Because I think we all do it very slightly differently. I see another text doing it. They do it slightly different. Um, I find this the easiest way for me. It's simplified. Some of them are a little bit more complicated, and so I um, yeah. So I do it simplified way. Okay, so I'm going to do. Obviously, I'm using shiny top coat at the moment. I can get the matte top coat out, and we can do a matte one. Um, let me show you one with sparkles. Okay. So there's the first two. Can we see? Not but not too bad a blend. Okie doke. Right, let's go on this one. Right, let me find the pink. Sparkly. No, that's a blue. I've got bottles everywhere. Oh, actually, I think that might be it. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so it's a Jules Ultimate, number 58021, ignore the numbers on the lids, that's my own referencing that I do, okay, and it's a really lovely glittery pink. Okay, same procedure to begin with, so you put a little bit on. Put a bit of top coat on my palette and wipe my brush in my top coat, wipe it on tissue, and then we're just doing the same technique. Okay, so you can see I'm pushing and pulling. Remember to do your sides, otherwise you get gappy sides. And you can take it down as far as you want, or just a little bit, depending on what your customer would like. Okay. Flash cure that. Hi, Michelle. No worries. It can always be watched back later. I'm doing ombre with gel polish. So I'm just doing basic quick ones first. A couple of those. Um, and then I'll do a two, a two colour one or something. Okay. And I'm just going to put a little bit more on the end. Just to make that stand out a bit more. Just a little bit. Remember to try and work quite thinly, otherwise you could end up with really bulky free edges and stuff. You see, so I'm not taking that all the way down, I'm literally just, I just wanted that, that top bit to be a bit darker. Cure that. Remember, keep wiping your brush in between. Then there's no build up and then you're not transferring what you don't want especially glitter and stuff because glitter um gets everywhere so i tend to clean it in top coat that's it And we're top, we're top coat. I know it seems pretty basic that one, but 
you know some people just don't don't know how to do it so I just thought I'd throw that one in there just to okay can we see okay I'm just going to cure that while I'm doing that I'm going to do the goldy bronzy one so um I was going to put it on the palette, I've changed my mind. Okay. There's that one. Okay, right, so I'm going over. So these are, the one I'm using now is a gel paint. It's a, um, rather than a gel polish. So it's far more pigmented. So I get a little bit on my brush and I paint the end. Okay, just like that. And then I get my dobber. Oh, I haven't got my gold bit in. Hang on, let me put my gold bit in. Okay, one of these. You could use a sponge. And then you, what you do is you just take it as far down you're just doing it very gently okay I'm just going to put that in for 10 seconds because it's so super thin and then we'll do it again so I can make The end just a bit darker okay we'll do it again paint the end Get my dubber and this time I'm not going to start from the free edge I'm just going to start from here because I want the free edge to remain darker okay can you turn that down please Lee just put a bit there I'm just going to wipe that bit off okay get me dopper and just thin it out a bit more there okay flash peel that I've got a um One of these, it's a new one, I've got to open it up, and um, that you can clean your dobbers on. So, just, just like that, and it just takes off any surplus. Obviously it stains, but um, as you can see, look, nothing's coming off. Okay. We could put a bit of matte top coat on that one to give a different effect. Normally I'd put a shiny top coat on first and then a matte, but just for just for show purposes, I'm just going straight to the matte. Because not everybody likes shiny. Okay, put that in. Put my lids on. Well, 
What sort of colours is everybody doing at the moment? You know what's popular in your salons. Okay, so that's it with the mat. Okay, so I'm going to do an orange and a pink one. Okay, let's turn my thing around. So the way I do it is I put working in thin coats again. Get my orange. Nope, that's green. There's the orange. And obviously where you put your join on your polishes will determine how much what colour you've got more of. Okay. So and because these colours are quite similar, what I as in because they're both neons. Hang on. Nope, it's that side. I've got a little liner brush. And I just sort of mix it a little where the join is. Don't forget to do your edges. And of course it's not going to look perfect the first time on the first coat. But just sort of blend them in. Just a bit like that. Okay, brush to cure that. Obviously, working with gel, if you're working in a room that's quite got a lot of windows, so the sun's coming in quite a lot, keep constantly wiping your brushes because before you know it, the gel's cured on your brush because of the sunlight. So, just to bear that in mind. Yes, of course, Julia. Okay, I'm going to do it again. You're better off working in very thin coats and doing maybe one extra coat if needed than less coats but thicker coats because it doesn't cure, no gel polish cures properly. And it doesn't cover properly. So what I'm doing here is I've slightly mixed the two together as I've painted it on and with my liner brush again. I mix it just like that okay I'm gonna flash through that so if you get yourself into the habit of keep wiping your brush on your bit of tissue then you won't ruin your brushes because honestly once it, once your gels cured in it you've got to use um, acetone and that to get it off and then the brushes are never quite the same have you shared the live on your page Julia okay so what I want to do is I want to just put a little bit more pink but I don't want it um, too dark so I'm just going to mix a little bit of pink and clear like I showed you before okay so it's slightly more transparent and I'm going to put it just over the join like that okay and by doing that it sort of helps it all blend in together so I've seen some people where they they drag the color right the way down the nail and everything um, 
mine always comes out a bit of a mess when I do it that way so I've learned to do it this way and it works for me it's simpler okay plop the coat should we do a matte one let's make it so we've got a different effect you see and then when you put your top coats on it just blends it all in lovely there's no line or join so that mixing with the top coat and putting over the join really does work does anybody want me to do any others or was that enough have you got the general gist No? Anybody? Okay. So there we go. There it is in matte. With a relatively nice blend there. Okay. Okay. Well, I think I've done a few different ones there. So, um... I think that'll be it for tonight. Um, next week I'm going to do an encapsulated rose. So watch out for that. Um, any questions, message me or comment on this. On this, And um, I'll see if I can answer as quickly as possible for you. Uh, yeah, so that's about it really. Okay, you take care everybody. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.